Let's talk about Google Drawing. Google Drawing is a simple design tool. It feels and looks a lot like a Google Slide, with the biggest exception being there's only one drawing. Google Slide, you can have numerous slides. In Google Drawing, you have one. You can adjust the size, so be thinking about what your end product is going to be. If you need it to be a specific size or you need it to be printed, go up to the File menu and click Page Setup. I prefer to use the custom area, and then I can customize the dimensions that I want in here. Click Apply, and you're good. Likewise, in the bottom right-hand corner, if you want to freehand it, you can pull and drag from the corner to be whatever size you want. There is a, a, menu, or a ruler up here at the top that will show. It might be easier just to go into the file page setup. Just like in the other G Suite tools, you can zoom, insert lines, shapes, text boxes, and images. A second big difference between drawings and slides is that you can't actually insert an image into the background. Using my two finger tap on the background, I can insert colors, either solid or gradient, but I don't have the option of inserting an image. I can simply insert an image, but it doesn't go directly to the background. It's still just floating. My final tip on using Google Drawings is don't let these limitations that you might perceive to be a negative keep you from using it. Google Drawings is actually an incredibly powerful tool. I always say that there, are, there is beauty in limitations and beauty in boundaries. Students would have to work within this one particular mat. And don't forget, this gray space out to the side is very valuable especially if you want to do an interactive activity. Give drawings a try.